<laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me, you want me to, where do, do I, do I back fine. up? You're fine. I brought your shop lights. Uh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're officially on my channel. <laughs> it's just for the. This is the first time I'm using this drive by That's cam. So cool. Okay, I'll okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, this is the intro of the video because I decided, you know what, since it's my first time at the Tossie Grill at the Busitani Guam Resort. Okay. We're gonna kind of do a mukbang and like order a whole bunch of shit. Oh. And just eat it and see if it's good. Okay, review, reviews, reviews. Reviews, okay. And you know, the thing is too, um, it's promising so far because when I made the reservation, uh -huh. they were very like legit friendly and they even said, you know, like, is this a special occasion? And I said, well, it's not a, like a birthday or anything, but I have a friend with me mm -hmm. who hasn't been in Guam for a long time. Mm -hmm. So then they're like, oh, so we're gonna four make years. sure. Oh shit, is that long? Or five, oh, I four and a half. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to bleep, 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 friendly. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep that one. Um, yeah, so they're like, oh, okay, we're gonna make sure we give you nice seats, like, views of the ocean or whatever okay. so we'll see if that is true Let's. if it is true that they will do I, that my sister my sister said she heard that the desserts there were oh yeah i agree oh awesome you know what it's a good thing you messaged a uh, message that you said that because i was thinking even after uh, we eat i was gonna stop by the coffee shop where they had the desserts on display because I've tried a couple too. Oh my God, they, one of my friends had a birthday thing and it was like a carrot cake. And you know, I'm not really a yeah, carrot cake yeah. person, but I was like, Ooh. It was really good. Yeah, and it was kind of like a naked style cake, mm -hmm. right? Like um, the frosting wasn't so much, cause you know carrot cake sometimes it has too much of that um, cream cheese frosting. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it, they just kind of like put it in, in between the layers and it was so good. Just the the bread part, the bread you know, part, the, the cake part. Moist. And flavorful. So I was like, ooh, I wouldn't mind having this as a birthday cake. But yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've eaten at I've so eaten at the, the restaurants there, Alfredo's. Alfredo's is good, it's a steakhouse. Okay. Oi, it's crooked. And then Fix it like Soy it. is good too. So we ate there last night. Mm. Okay, so that was the Tumon Bay and the mojitos to start with. Take a sip. Yeah? It tastes like um, one of those, that, those drinks that will sneak up on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. How is it? It's really refreshing. Is it sweet? Oh, I love mojitos, yeah. Sweet and meaty. Mm. Oh, that's good, too. It's really refreshing. The mojito, oh my god, we're in trouble. We, we might be. <laughs> so nice out today. Here is the grilled shrimp. Just arrived. Oh, and coconut shrimp. So we're gonna give it a try. Vic, what are you gonna try first? Um, I need to, I wanna try this one first. Okay, that is the coconut shrimp. Okay. 
Honest reaction, what is it? That's really good. It's not too overwhelming. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. um, it's sweet. It's actually really good. That's really good. The batter is not too like overwhelming like all the other coconut shrimps I've tried. We're trying the grilled river prawns from the river. Is it from the the Elig River? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's really good too. It looks like they have some corn and is it spicy? Yeah. No, it's like sweet with smoky, smoky flavor in it. Mm -hmm. I love this corn. Mm. Good? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of on the sweet side. Here, you should try it. Okay. Now we have the Wagyu sandwich. So, so far everything has come out really quick, right? Yeah. Alright, so now I'm trying the Wagyu steak sandwich. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh my god. It's so tender, and if you are a meat lover fan, like a like tender, fatty, quality steak. Oh my god. Mm. Would you like another picture? Okay, so now Abby is gonna try. Oh walking. my god, look at this. It's so juicy. Oh. Is mm. it juicy? Oh my god. Oh my god, it is so good. Garnishes too. I'm gonna try this garnish. I think I don't know if it was supposed to go in the burger, but I just wanted to eat the burger for the, I mean the the steak sandwich for just the the taste of the steak. But oh, it's like a pickle. Mm -hmm. A very light pickle. Next is the lobster roll. I love the presentation. Look at these um, edible flowers. I don't know what flower that is, I forget. But it's just really presented nice. Now I'll try it. Mm. Mm. You know what makes a good lobster roll is the roll. It's like, it's nicely buttered and grilled and the, the lobster mixed with the, you know, you mix it in with the mayo and all that. It's not too watery. It tastes really fresh. It tastes really fresh. That Wagyu sandwich has... Can you see my eyes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really buttery. They really buttered it so nice. And just the fat content on the meat. It's just a really nice cut of meat before it's it's Wagyu. Okay, Abby's trying the claw from the lobster rolls. Mm. What are your thoughts? It's definitely fresh for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. mm, it's really good. I like how buttery the rolls are, mm -hmm. even on the, the steak sandwich. They know how to quit. They know how to butter them rolls. <laughs> the fish tacos. Again, presentation is so nice here. Really. They really care about presentation. It isn't like slopped on and messy. Like I think honestly, when you get a pretty plate of food like this, it makes you want to eat more. Okay, mm. oh, no. <laughs> the fish is crunchy. 
which is good because I hit a soggy taco and it's just really fresh again. Right. Just the right amount of sauce. And I'm just gonna give it a whirl. Okay. Fish taco. Let me clear my palate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ASMR. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking the last stick sandwich because I'm a meat eater. But one thing I didn't notice was on the edge of the sandwich is like a panko crust. There's a little bit of teriyaki in here, or like a sweet sort of sauce. Um, but it doesn't take away from the flavor of the beef, which is most important for such a pricey cut of meat like this. Uh, it's almost like eating butter because <laughs> it's so rich and you know that fat content with the meat is like a meat butter. So colorful. Oh, oh yes, captured, captured. Okay. So this is a coconut, coconut, coconut uh, syrup, anything? Sweet coconut. Ooh, ranchu. Oh, there's gold flakes on this thing. What did you say? It looks like a, a what? A golden Twinkie? <laughs> a really a fancy golden Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, Abby gets first taste. First, we're, we're gonna pour this little more warm of the syrup. Syrup. It's like this warm cream. It's warm. I can't. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> so this is the dragon fruit. Yes, yeah, sorbet. Sorbet. Mm. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. Tart? What? Hold on. I'm gonna take a little mm -hmm. spoon. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try one now. So there's this powdery stuff along with the chopped um, like veg I mean vegetables fruit. But the sorbet itself is really delish, but I don't know, I could do without these powders, this right? And I'm not that like high class with my palate or anything, but this is kind of like that molecular gastronomy kind of hoo-ha. It's like coffee meat, kind of nutty. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know. I can't. I'm gonna just stick to the sorbet. I don't know. This is the, I'm fine with just this. Right, this sorbet is really refreshing. We'll have a pint of this, please, to go. <laughs> it is good. Yeah. And you know, the edible flowers, I could also do without. But the presentation, it makes the presentation really high class. Oh, that looks nice cake. But it is in the form of this like twinky, um, fruity colored turd. But it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has 24 karat gold um, flakes. So I'm gonna feel really good about that in my intestines. Because I mean, I've seen having gold in your intestines must be like. Oh my god. Mm. It's really light and creamy, and the mango is just like really subtle. No, try this. Out. We're at the end of our meal experience here at the Dusatani Resort. We had such a great dining experience with all the food. Customer service was really on point. Everybody checked on us the whole time, and everybody was just genuine and friendly. It wasn't fake. It was like really sincere. And uh, yeah, just the food items were great. My favorite was the Wagyu uh, beef sandwich, which was such a great cut of meat. And you know, that's all you needed. You just need that buttery bread and the meat. That's it. Like they had great presentation too. Was really nice. Everything. Um, what was your favorite? Mine was the Wagyu beef also, and the coconut shrimp was really good. Yeah, we also had that river shrimp too, that river grilled shrimp was really good with the corn. And uh, yeah, everything was good. I kind of didn't 
and like the fries, to be honest with you, but that's just a small thing. Um, everything else was great. Thank you to the chef and to the staff for talking our dessert. All in all, the you know the pricing, of course, this is a five-star resort, so it's not going to be cheap. But it's definitely affordable, especially if you're a Deucet Gold member. We got like 30 something bucks knocked off of our bill. So it was just really an overall great experience. You know, what makes a place um, really great is, is customer service. So that definitely was on point. And it's also a nice place to have for, uh, yeah, like a get together with a friend who hasn't been back. Abby hasn't been back for four years. So I just wanted to like splurge, have a nice brunch, you know, cocktails. The cocktails were great. We had the Tumon Bay and the Needles. We had two of those each, and we got a nice little list going on. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this place for dining. Uh, and we're gonna try to come back, you know, for dinner time just to have that dinner time ambiance. But as far as lunch goes, oh my gosh, I mean, who could beat this view? We're so blessed on this island, Tumon Bay, at this beautiful, newly opened um, uh, eating, uh, but an outlet. Uh, eatery here at the Pearson County Home Resort, so that's all. Uh, definitely thumbs up. And love the experience here. Can't wait to come back. Special thanks again to my dear friend and cousin Abby for coming out with me on this food trip at the Dusitani Guam when she was visiting. She's back in Texas now. So it's so nice to look back on this video and this vlog and look at the time that we shared to catch up and just have a good time over food and good conversation. If you liked what you saw here, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, MK671TV. Thank you so much.